Hello. I'm not sure. Um, hang on one second. My thing is still spinning. There we go. Hello there, Lisa Marie. Hope everybody's doing well. Holy cow, did I wake up to snow this morning. Good grief. We had close to a foot. And uh, by the time I get done shoveling, I, I shoveled a few times today, but um, it, it blew a lot. So I'm not really sure the exact amount we got, but I bet it was at least eight inches. So there you go. Um, yeah, wet, heavy, nasty. Uh, we went from summer one week right into winter. Okay, we're talking tonight about the... Hi, Melody. Thanks for hopping on. You are such a sweetheart. Uh, we are talking about the science of getting rich. And I give this book away completely free in my group. So if you don't have a copy of this, uh, it's something my mentor has gifted to me. And which is so, so cool because it's changing my life. And if we can help others, you know, just make just improve ourselves a little bit every day and that is what this book is doing for me I believe that with my whole heart I know it it is changing me so make sure you reach out and get your free copy um, chapter 12 is um, efficient action okay and what that means is uh, as like the previous chapters, we need to create thought first, okay? And begin to do what we can do wherever we are, and we must do all that we can do wherever we are. You can advance only by being bigger. Hi, Goji, nice to, nice to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Um, we can only advance by being bigger or larger or um, efficient enough in our present place. No man is larger than his present place who leaves work undone. Um, we have to do all we can do in whatever business we are in. Even if it's not the right business for you, we still have to do all that can be done in that present place. Otherwise, there are not going to be opportunities unless it's just blind, dumb luck. You will not advance. Um, people that are doing all that they can do in their present workplace, you don't need to worry about somebody else getting something that you want. Okay, a better job, um, a better rank, Whatever it may be, you don't have to worry about somebody else because if you are doing efficient action, wherever you are, the time will come for you. The time will come and another position will open up just for you. So don't worry that somebody else is going to get something that you deserve because, oh my gosh, okay. I don't know what happened to me. I just, I need to breathe. <laughs> Sorry. I don't usually get nervous too much anymore, but I just did. I don't know why. But anyway, um, okay. If you are afraid of other people taking the position that you want, then we need to stop and think about what we're doing because that puts us right back into that um, competitive mode and we don't get anywhere being competitive we need to be creative instead so we have to do what is in front of us every single day if we go every day with leaving just one or two things undone then that's considered a failure and if we have continued failures every single day you will not get rich. But if we do all we can do every single day in our present place, there's no possible way that you cannot get rich. 
Okay, so keep that in mind. And so you don't want to go off half, you know, quit your job or, or whatever. I mean, we have to use common sense. You don't do that until you get your income replaced. So just do the best that you can where you are at that time. And rest assured, something good is coming to you. Um, if, 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 okay. If a man does not be consistent in doing a good job, a successful job every single day, then other people have to carry him along in order for, <clears throat> sorry, not sure what's wrong with me today. Um, I'm fine. I just, I don't know. I, I got a hot flash. Holy smokers. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I did. That's crazy. I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, um, sorry. But anyway, the people that do not do what they can do, they are considered dead weight, and other people have to drag them along. And um, our universe as a whole cannot grow like it should grow if everybody is doing effi efficient action. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, if you don't feel your present... Uh, you're putting dead weight on society, the government, the commerce, the industry, all of that. And you must be carried along by other people. So no society can advance if every man is smaller than his place. Social evolution is guided by the law of physical and mental evolution. In the animal world, evolution is um is caused by excess of life i'm not quite sure that i i quite get this part but um when an organism has more life than can be expressed in its functions uh it develops organs um it develops organs and a new species is created so that one, I, I just, I'm not quite sure I get that. So I'm going to have to study that one just a little bit more. But there never would be new species had there not been organisms. That part I kind of get, um, which they more than fill their place. The law is exactly the same for us. Us getting rich depends on applying that principle to your everyday life. Every day is either success or failure. So, and you can't go ahead and do a whole bunch of work at one time, you know, a week's worth ahead of time so that everybody else looks bad and you look like you're the hero. That doesn't work either because you know, if you are hurrying, you are not doing your work efficiently. And that kind of, you know, that makes me think about myself because a lot of times I do feel like a fart in a whirlwind, but I'm more conscious of that now, I think, than I was before I started reading this book. So yes, this book is helping me a great deal. This is not my first time with the book. It's my second. And I just might do it a third, a fourth, and a fifth time. I don't know. I'm going to do it until, until I get every word of this book. I have to. And we all should. Why not? I mean, is it going to hurt us at all? It has improved my life as a whole. I'm happier mentally, physically, emotionally. It absolutely helps. Okay, we can't uh, foresee results for trivial acts. You, you do not know the workings of all the forces that have been set moving in your behalf. So if you get if you get out of sync a little bit, it is going to stop. It is going to stop and you're going to start going backwards. It's like it wipes all the good away. So we need to be very conscious about our actions. Um, 
And it could be just something as little as simple acts, you know, as long as we are doing what we should be doing, you know, and this reminds me of my job, you know, because I do do my work in between work and, but I do make sure that my work is done before I do that. Does that make sense? We have to just do every day what we can do. Um, let's see. Yeah, rushing blindly. I'm just looking through my notes here a little bit. Um, every inefficient act is a failure. If you spend life in doing inefficient acts, your whole life is going to be in a, fail a failure. And we have to take this in every aspect of our life, not just in our work habits. I mean, we have to consider our actions, doing things in a certain way and being, um, being uh, very genuine, being, God, these words are just, I'm at a loss for words today. I just might have to do this chapter over, good grief. Okay. Um, if you can make each act that you do in a complete day a total efficient act, successful where you didn't have to rush through like a fart in a whirlwind and you did it efficiently okay and and i think awareness because we we subconsciously get into the habit of just rush 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 and do everything i know that i i did and i think when i started slowing down just a little bit I haven't slowed down a lot, but a little bit, it makes you more aware of what you are doing. So you're going to know, you're going to know if you're being efficient or if you're not. Does that make sense? So in, in every aspect of our life, um, in your relationships, if you say that you're going to do something for your spouse, your partner, whatever, and and they can never count on you because you don't never follow through. That is not doing anything in an efficient way. So be good to your word. Um, be true to yourself. Be true to your employer. And never take anything more than what is due you. Does that make sense? So, so what I'm saying is you can't steal or you can't, um, you know, slough off on your work. It will catch up to you. Believe me, I know. It will catch up to you. So do the best you can every single day in every avenue of your life. And uh, I don't know what my problem is today, but I think I definitely am going to be doing this chapter again because there's parts in there that... I just kind of got hung up on and instead of moving on next week, Monday, I'm going to do this chapter again because I don't feel good with how it turned out. So that's all I got. I, I apologize, but you know what? There was a lot of value in there, even though I stuttered it out. <laughs> there was good stuff in there. All right. I'm out of here. Bye guys.